All right, you are watching DefenseReview.com. We are here with Mike Myers of M Plus M, and he's going to show us this little uh, M10X Elite. It's the updated version of a gun we, re we reviewed a while back. And uh, all right, show us what we're looking at here. So this is our latest version. We're trying to introduce it to the market. It's an SBR. Uh, we're probably going to make it available as a pistol too. And as a carbine. Uh, correct, yes. Uh, the main deal, what we did, we hear all the feedback from all the different customers and everything. They wanted a different stock. We came with the Macpul Zukov stock, which is collapsible. And basically also side folding, making it a nice compact type of firearm. Uh, we're actually adding right now, it's under patent, uh, we're waiting for that one, the dust cover for the firearm. Uh, that is one of the latest additions that we did for it. Then still same uh, materials, uh, high uh, resistance steel basically, high corrosion resistance steel, stainless steel, nitrated, uh, the entire firearm is nitrated, still multi-position gas system itself and with the simplicity of most uh, battle rifles that are right now being used. Uh, we've been eliminating more than 30 parts um, and our firearm pretty much... 7.62 by 39 millimeter. Correct, exactly. Okay, so the carbine will be either 14 and a half or 16 inches, right? Correct, exactly. And you'll have a pistol version that's... And we've got an 18.5 inches too, long barrel. Oh, okay. Uh, the accuracy that we've been getting is sub MOA uh, with the standard 16 inch. We have not tested this one for accuracy, so we'll let uh, you guys uh, find out in and the I, near future. Uh, assume this gun is reliable under adverse conditions and high round Correct. count? Correct, yes. Uh, we've been shooting actually at 12,000 rounds, at 3,500 we had, we had to change some uh, components, but that was normal wear and tear of it. And do you have a battle arms development uh, 45 degree throw uh, ambidextrous uh, safety selector? Correct. And this one is actually one of the um, Magpul uh, on it. Actually standard. What we're doing is utilizing our own ones, but we're trying to make more options available for the okay, general so that's public. not battle arms development? Uh, no, this is actually Magpul. Magpul. Okay. Mm -hmm. And who's uh, flash hire you got on here? This is our own flash hider. It has a muzzle brake mainly. It just has an aggressive look. We're also in the midst of redesigning it and making a couple other versions available. So, okay, and how many uh, uh, settings do you have on the gas block? Uh, currently, the gas block has five settings on it, which is no gas, uh, lower qual uh, quantity of gas, and higher quantity in the exact same reverse on it. So, we're trying to reel it in to make it available for silencers that it works with most of the settings, but we've discovered variations in the silencer manufacturers. But that's what we're out to. All right, very cool. And what's this going to retail for, roughly? Uh, this version around roughly fifteen hundred. Uh, we're also coming with a standard version that's going down to eleven $1 hundred dollars. Okay. Well, what about the carbine version of this? Same? Uh, yes, correct. All right, very cool. The M10X Elite, right? Correct. All right, a shot show twenty sixteen, and you are watching DefenseReview.com.